everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Carmen Mock. I'm a children's book illustrator. In this video, we are going to make something really fun together. It's inspired by our new book. It's called When I Listen to Silence. This book is written by Jamie Pansy Wu, illustrated by me and published by Groundwood Books. When I Listen to Silence, it's about this girl's imaginary story. I start from this page. When mom asks me to please be quiet, I sit silent. But when this story continues, it's not silence at all. It's a busy, noisy journey. So you may wonder like, what do you mean, Carmen? Um, what do you mean that by um, silence but noisy, um, quiet but busy? Well, you need to read this book to find out. But let me ask you, do you have some moments that you have a lot of great ideas in your head through your imagination? Do you? Yeah, I do too. I have that all the time. Then what do you do with that? Well, you can tell people what it is, right? Or you can write it down in words, or you can make some pieces of art to show people what it is. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a nice piece of art to show all your great imagination. It's not just a piece of art, it's a wearable because it's going to be a paper crown, load all your great ideas on your head. Does this sound fun? It's going to be a really fun project to make. So before we start, we need to prepare a few items. So listen that carefully, okay? So first, you need to go to the link and download um, this pages that I make already um, for you. So remember, there are three pages together. So one, two, and three. It's nicer that if you print them on a cardstock paper, but if you don't have the cardstock paper, that is just totally fine. Um, you can just print it on the regular paper, but thicker paper, just let the crown stand nicer on your head, okay? So this is the first things to prepare. And second, go pick your favorite color pencils or crayons or markers. In this video, I'm going to use this watercolor palette, but it's up to you. That's your choice. And then third things, get a scissors, um, tape or glue stick. Okay, so when you have everything's ready, we are going to start making it, okay? Go get it! Okay, now, um, if you print out this outline, they are three pages, then we are going to start to color it. So you will see the black outline, then you can use all your imagination and creativity to put your favorite color on it. And then you see this broken line that after we color all items, then we will cut that out. Okay, so let's start with this girl. And then I try to make the second page. This is the headband. So we will cut that in three pieces, wrap around your head. Um, so you can leave it white, or if you like, you can color it, or you can make some pattern. Maybe I like to make some pattern on it. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so now I have all the items color look at that um, 
So I wait for a little bit when it's dry, then I will cut them out. So I come back to this page. Let's say I can, I have this bright yellow marker. Maybe I can add some dots here. And what we have to do next you need to follow all this line and cut them out so yes you're right you have to be a little more patient but you can do it this every one of them i'm sure you can make it okay so we have all these items ready so the last thing is we cut this headband in three pieces. There we go. So we have this, the front, and then this is on two sides. And what we have to do is we have to join this together by overlapping a little bit. So if you like, it's easier that if you can I use the tape because it's um, just faster right now so let me move away this yeah. like this then you have to decide how you arrange all those items along this headband so let's say you can think about that you can place that randomly every one of them for example like this okay and then I will just tape everything together so let's start with the horse okay something like that and then i have all those small items that i can put one right here it's okay that if they are overlapping you can measure it um, on your head see which way that fit better and then after that we can just tape this together hey how's your crown making look at that this is my crown do you like it it's filled with my imagination and color and those character i create for when i listen to silence but you are the artist I'm sure you can create your own set of characters and put it on your paper crown. And remember, you can make as many as you want. You can make one for yourself. You can make one for your brother and sister, your parents, your friends and school teachers. And also you can make this for your birthday party. If you like to show me what you make, you can take a photo of your crown and tap me on social media at Carmen Mark Studio. I hope you enjoy this video and learn some new ideas. Happy making and see you next time!